on site we have a weather station that um, collects uh, um, a lot of information in temperature, rainfall, humidity, wind speed. Um, that's then sent back to um, sent back to the main office where we can um, anyone has access to that. Um, we then use that information then to help us forecast any heat events um, or any any points of stress that might be going to happen for those cattle. Uh, Meat and Livestock Australia and Kate Stone have uh, formulated a website where we can access information on a site specific basis to see when heat load events may be occurring. Um, this is monitored heavily through summer so we can start to predict if a heat load event is occurring. Um, we can put systems in place to make sure that we're preventing any, um, any animal welfare issues. Um, so as part of the National Feedlot Accreditation Scheme, uh, we have a, a heat load management plan in place. Um, and what that requires is we have trigger points um, that when these occur during heat events, um, we then have a management plan in place where we will um, change our rations, um, we will look at adding additional water troughs uh, and increase our monitoring of cattle to make sure that uh, we're, meeting, we're meeting those animal welfare requirements.